they tattoo them and you wonder they they receive money they get mm, the money cool, yeah. but they're always sitting there with a the it's almost like a so well, that's that's talking yeah. about yours there's one one mm. also at the madina stretch and mm. this woman has elephant eye yeah <laughs> elephant <Elephantiasis. laughs> mm -hmm. so it's more like emotional blackmail when you yeah. see the vic was the people yeah you attempted to give them the money yeah mm. that's an emotional blackmail yeah let's take a let's take a look at the video okay. yeah, yeah. for the subsequent horrors of mass and when we don't first heard about Africa, we heard about a continent of riches and that led to the commission of some people being blamed on some of for the subsequent horrors of mass and when we don't first heard about Africa, we heard about a continent of riches the law should tell us because you can clearly see that the child has a, a growth yeah. Yeah. Right. but it has become more like a work so you have more, let's say, like six people just going through the, you know, traffic, trying to yeah. just, you know, yeah. so wearing Timbaland people. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I he's see this he's as... super well dressed. <laughs> I see this as child abuse, if you ask yeah. me. You cannot do this. And in any for you know, he's not even related to the kiddo. But yeah, the sometimes is, they are not related. Look at how scorching the sun is. Even us, when we're walking under the sun, it's so mm, painful sometimes. Mm, they're not related. And to have a child, of course, he has a defect. But there are ways by which you can raise funds. Walk into a media house, let them know what your challenge is. I mean, Media General has been doing a lot of it. Of course, yeah. Love but me. if you subject the child to this kind of torture, and I'll say torture because I'm sorry, you cannot do this to a child. Um, he, he, I'm not sure he'll grow up and be happy. But like, when you see this, even and that child needs this. to give them something. You know. He does need treatment, yeah. but is this the right way to solicit funds for a child? I'm not sure. There are others who say, Charlie, oh, they just cannot do from sex traffic in your car. They just cannot. We'll pick nothing can happen. You know? It is a driver B for some reason, oh. you know, doesn't drive well and drives into them. Yeah, okay. Whose fault would it be? But you see, yeah. so look, at, look, look at the demeanor Everyone. and the countenance of the guy. The gentleman carrying the child doesn't look like he's in need. Like you said, he's wearing Timbaland. Yeah, right? the Timbaland. He's wearing a very beautiful Timbaland. shirt with jeans as well. He's not devastated. It's the Where child. The good talk, exactly. Talk. It's the child that's devastated. And it, like, like we said, this is pure emotional Black blackmail. Man. You see them or you see the child, you want to contribute. Exactly. You want to give them some money. But who is he accounting to? Who is the child for? Yeah. Who is he accounting to at the mm -hmm. end of the day that mm -hmm. I've been able to probably um, mobilize a thousand Ghana cities exactly. or even 500 Ghana cities and this condition can be taken care of to a certain extent or to a certain point? It's all over. But you see rules and regulations in this country. Yeah, Who's checking work. this? Exactly. The work. ministry, exactly. Yeah. Um, um, gender. <clears throat> <clears throat> gender and social protection and all that. What are they doing? Yeah. When children have conditions like this and we do not have care for them, where are they taken exactly. to? Or if their parents or families don't have care for them, where can they be taken to? Where can we get help? This is a no-no. But it's becoming very rampant. Exactly. It's, it has become. it's all, all over. Yeah. Yeah. Most they, times too, after services on Sundays, after church services on Sundays, you, you see them at the car park. Because they know that that's where benevolent people exactly. are. It's you've just come, uh, exactly, you've just come out of church. It's a Sunday. Uh, and Ghanaians are very giving. If everybody gives a child one, one, one city, that's, yeah. and it's, it's a thousand people. Ghanaians yeah. are very giving. But I, I'll, I'll pick the story up. Um, I want to well, on the Sunday too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where exactly give? is this again? Spinters. Uh, we don't know if this is Spinters Road. No, Spinters. I think this is Spinters. No, hold on. Let me, the Action no. Road. Is this the, is this the Action one? Then, then it's actually... No, 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 no. This is Madina. Ah, oh, this okay. is La Paz, along okay. the La Paz road. But it happens on the 37, and then it, he there's, there's, It's everywhere. And everywhere and there's traffic. It's everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. And that's what I'm saying. You won't get to keep your and child if you try this or attempt one. this in the States yeah. or wherever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can do this. child services will not allow exactly. something like this. No. Child services. Yeah. So, where are the yeah, avenues? Yeah, people like working for them. Yeah, we have the institutions. They don't work. Ministry of Gender. The last time we had a conversation with the social welfare department, they said they only had two cars. Yeah. yeah. The director was using one. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I lie. Yeah. La, 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 this, la, la. this is the country we we we, we And live, even beyond this, in. there are also kids. Very yeah. little kids. Very on the road. yeah. And now when they come to your car, they're literally hitting your yeah, car. Of course, they've they've, they've, they've and shown them give what them to very do aggressive. And what to say. If you don't give them they anything, get upset. they either scratch your car yeah. or they, they, they hit yeah. the car and just they get upset. And I'm wondering, they've been there for a long time. And their mothers and parents are watching on. That we're asking questions about street children and what was being done about them. We're told that for some reason they had been taken off the street at one point. Mm. And then after a few 
um, you know, Kimba. months or so, weeks, literally. They were back. Drew. Especially when you go past Shiache, you're coming back onto the main Legon yeah. um, airport road. Oh, What's that the place? Emmanuel Nkung. Emmanuel Eye Clinic. Um, Emmanuel Eye Clinic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Junction. I saw. They yeah. harass you. They harass yeah. you. And so. these are even, you know, teenagers. Yeah. They yeah. harass you so And you much. know, they select the cast that they harass. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah. you see, the, the regular men, cast, they don't they attempt don't. at all. Charlie, that's why I, mean, I don't see that. I think so. Yeah. No, but the fear, you see, sometimes you want to help. Yeah. But they come on you yeah. in, in yeah. large numbers. You're and not really sure you're going to And the pressure they and mount help. on you. Yes. Madam, madam, we are hungry. Madam, these no, no, are your no. brothers. It's they, even worse if they want to drink water. Yeah, when they know it's you, it's terrible. When they know it's you. But it's uncomfortable. Because I also think that it's harassment on drivers. Yeah, it is. And motorists. Oh, it is. They kneel in front of you. They kneel in front of you, begging all of them, like six, seven of them. But this is, it don't work on you. I don't know why. Ah, you're wicked. I'm so, you know, the, 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 the reality is it doesn't that, work on me. The reality is that people are, have been exploiting people. Yes. Yeah. And there is a lacuna. You don't have funding until the child is still getting some intermittent care. Mm -hmm. So that child has become a commodity for business. Exactly. And that is what this young man wearing nice Timbaland boots, mm -hmm. well um, slim fit uh, jeans with manicured beard is going around doing. And you know, they have these speakers now that they buy, the mm -hmm. Bluetooth ones, charged. Then they'll put it there and then it'll be playing. And then these days, because... They'll play what exactly? They'll play music. They'll play music. So, so music. To draw yeah, your attention. Hey, come on. You. So yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. Huh? Accra Girls yeah, yeah, yeah. towards Kaukudi. Yeah. Yeah. There's this one there. The tumor, they put it in various um, pictures, uh, picture forms, printed yeah. in graphics. You'll find it there. At the end of the day, mobile. Yeah. Especially if you call the name of the G G Jesus of Israel. That's all. Okay. Jesus of Israel. Hmm. Well, away, away from that, uh, you know, customers of uh, Gold Coast Fund Management are having their last packet in today at SEC. And for me, chasing locked up funds for the past five years seems it's been fruitless for them. And this is their last protest at SEC premises. And so, yeah. How many, how many are they in numbers? Papa, there are more than 900,000. Wait, what? Yeah, more than. But truth is, some of them don't want to be victimized, so they don't really show their faces. 900,000? Yeah, 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 they're more than that, yeah. That's, that's um, Group Indo, man. Yeah, 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 Group Indo. Yeah. Group Indo. That's group GM Indo. Bank, Group Indo. Yeah, yeah. they are more than 900,000. Anyway. I was at a court somewhere last month, and the judge you know, mentioned the number, and we were like, we're all shocked. 900,000. You know? And I know someone, a big person in Almost here, a million. Who has like 7 million CDs. With, with you know locked up there, but you don't see the person coming up to join the protest, yeah. you know, course, because when he comes out, he'll be victimized. Be victimized. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I think it's the same thing with yeah. with the pension funds and then the lock up funds of uh, people who bought bonds, right. you know, and it, it speaks to the bigger question we've been asking of the finance minister, especially in this government, that when you came in, you said you were restructuring the banking sector, mm -hmm. etc. The mode for which you did it, or the mode through which you did this so-called restructuring, and you look at is it five years, six years down the lane, where we find ourselves and the exposure of the financial system. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the financial system is the backbone of, of every economy. Exactly. For those institutions that have their parent companies in the UK or elsewhere in mm -hmm. the developed mm -hmm. West, mm -hmm. it's okay for them. Yeah. Yeah. But for those that indigenous. are indigenous, we had the GM Bank, mm -hmm. Unibank, Capital Bank, many of them. Mm -hmm. Could we have done something better by saving them? Yeah. And in saving them, you save jobs. Yeah. I know that the argument is that, or was that, we save depositors' funds. Yeah. But beyond that, are people who have jobs, are people who have dependents, are shareholders who could have done things better because, hmm. well, because of our lack of supervision, they, they <coughs> infringed on the financial laws of our country. Mm -hmm. But could we have done it better? Could we have gone through this process of either administration and, and, and do things better? Look, so far if you look at the financial system and the structure that we have, the local players are just few. Yeah. And many of them have been exposed to uh, this DDP that we're going through. And it's only a local person who is willing to risk to give yeah, you to a startup to do a business. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody else is. So, so, so what they want to do now is to talk people out of investing in indigenous business. I know one man, Mr. Arthur, he died. 
he took okay, the money. Yeah, the man you spoke about. He's dead. He'll, the man you spoke about. He took his phone from Absa and then ago. deposited it. In the <coughs> he took the money from Barclays. What's the name? Barclays. Barclays at the time. Then and he was a well-to-do person. When you go to his house, you can tell that this guy lived a well meaningful life. He took his funds from, you know, Absa and then deposited it at GM Bank just to make sure that in Doom, you know, it's an indigenous company. And this is what has started all his woes and all that. He needed money for surgery. He couldn't get it. He had more than, you know, one million there. So It, it makes gone. you wonder then that at a time when so many young people especially were looking for jobs, the finance minister then said that, well, the public sector Payroll. is choked. Yeah. So you go and start play. your own businesses. Let's just say that as a young person, a group of young people, we have an idea to start, to start up a maybe a, a savings and loans company. Two, three, five years down the line, I'm declared insolvent, and then that business is taken away from me. Exactly. How are you encouraging a lot of these young people mm -hmm. to even start their own indigenous businesses mm -hmm. in the country when there's really no hope that they'll be able to sustain it? Because even receiving funds to start the business is now a problem. It's a problem. Sustaining the business is a problem. Then I kill myself for a couple of years, get it to a certain level, and then for some reason, they tell me that unfortunately your business cannot survive, so we're taking it or we're shutting it down or absorbing it. These are some of the conversations that we need to have because as a government, you should be there to create exactly. these avenues for us. But, but you're not doing that and you're telling us, go and find your own. As it stands now, we're told what? 1.76 million people were unemployed as at the last quarter of last year. Mm -hmm. Where are these people going to find the jobs? Yeah. And we're told that we should go and start our own jobs. Imagine 1.76 million but, people but that, that starting their own jobs. I think there are even more. They're yeah, more. That's for more. just the it's, last quarter. It's, it's, it's way more. That's just oh. for the last it's quarter. But imagine... We're 30 some, 32 point, million. Yeah. yeah. What are you talking million, about? Imagine yeah. 1.76 million people starting yeah. a job yeah. just within the last quarter exactly. of last year. Yeah. And then these people I mean, are very vulnerable. Yeah, I know. I, someone told me that there's an agency somewhere in La Paz recruiting people. So mm. you pay money to be recruited and it has mm. come. Mm. And all these people know are vulnerable. So you <laughs> have them, you know, in numbers trying to get recruited and they are duped. All the time. Even beyond that, it's jihadists, we're told that there's also a scare that a lot of our young people are being recruited exactly. into some of these um, groups as well. That's why... And it's, it's <coughs> the reality. It is the reality. Maybe we don't have the numbers on the ground to really indicate how many of them may have been recruited at this time. Mm -hmm. But it will hurt me to find out that because my cousin or a family member couldn't find a job for five years and was home after graduating, mm. he unfortunately had to accept this job. Yeah. And no he'll choice. come back here and come and terrorize us. Of mm. course. Are we concerned about these effects? I don't think anybody don't really think so. cares about that because if that was the case, I'm sure that we'll find a way, a yeah. solution to this yeah. problem. NAPCO, they've been asking, they have mm. worked. Yeah. They've mm. been asking for their allowances. It's been Eight over months. 10 months. Yeah. It ended and in September last allowances. year, right? Eight Even before allowances. it ended, there were some... They, the they, were, Ghana, they were sent home um, for a year exactly. or so. Yeah. The yeah. Ghana module, they hadn't been paid for seven months. Yeah, true. Plus the extra months that they were asked to remain... Exactly at work until it was cancelled. It's crazy. All mm -hmm. these That's issues crazy. are there. Nobody's addressing it. All we care about is elections. Yeah. Let's break the AIDS. Yeah. Let's change government. Yeah. And that's all yeah. everybody like this cares year. about. And, 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 and it was right only now. one time that we got um, Dr. Anyas to come and speak on this. Just in that. once. And even that the responses that we got oh, have I, so I, many I, questions. I have a friend of mine. He lives in Charlotte. Mm. And, and Kauni... Uh, Kauni will always tell you alongside the wife. When I'm chatting with her, they say they have... Uh, is it the labor department mm. also in the U.S.? Mm. They, they give you quarterly, quarterly updates yeah. Yeah. based on surveys mm, or data that's survey, been collected yeah. on jobs that have been created, created yeah. and then taken over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jobs, so jobs day. Or they will tell you which areas have more jobs. Yeah. So that so, you, so know you have where options. to apply to, yeah. We have options. They have options. That's why people are willing to go and and serve in a restaurant in the mm -hmm. USB, security people, yeah. etc. Yeah, yeah. It, it just, I don't wait. We talk and talk and talk, nothing happens. And it's very sad, really. Yeah. But you see, at the end of the day, that generation is going to pass. And we'll be left with the burden of now having to deal with a lot of people who don't have jobs. It's really it's sad, you know. It is. <laughs> Well, I think we're taking a break at yeah, this point. We will. We'll mm. be back with more. Well, I have to say good morning to um, Carl Ni Domenio, alongside your wife in Charlotte, <coughs> um, the United States. And uh, thank you always for uh, giving us uh, a lot of information when we're discussing some of these things. Well, uh, we're taking a break. When we come back, we'll tell you what the Ghana National Fire Service is up to by way of giving us up-to-date education on how we need to be fire safety conscious.